Well, good morning. morning. Everybody get your ice cream yet? I already had mine. So I want to uh, just talk a, a little bit. Uh, this isn't a day of, of really of speeches. This is just a day of being grateful uh, for lots of things. And we're centering our gratitude this morning around John Myers, and that's well-deserved. And that has been earned over decades of of doing great things in this city. And, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about John in just a minute. But this uh, Paseo del Bosque bicycle trail that we are naming uh, after John today is a really a special place. And we're standing here kind of at ground zero of the, of the new trail that we had put in here uh, during the last four years, uh, the Crusher Fine Trail. But we're at a place that, that is the dear to our community and we're at a place that allows us to get out and connect uh, with nature, uh, to connect with our community, uh, to be alone and be quiet, and just to maybe listen a little bit more, talk a little bit less, be with our family and friends. And it, uh, those of you who are wearing your bicycle gear know that when you get out here, you see all kinds of wonderful things. And those things involve nature, but, but mostly they just involve people uh, enjoying their place and enjoying each other. So when we started talking with Dale and, and the ULI folks and everybody, about what we could do uh, to honor uh, what I consider one of the great citizens, John Myers. Uh, what could we do? Well, we thought this would be uh, number one, appropriate. Uh, number two, just uh, uh, the right thing to do from the standpoint of speaking to John's efforts. I'm gonna have Councilor Benton speak in just a minute, but let me just say to John, he's standing here, we just spoke a few minutes ago. I've known John for 30 years. Uh, who hasn't? Uh, <laughs> And, and, and I, was, I was just talking uh, right, right here, and, and, and Steve and I were talking, you know, find, find somebody in this community that you've known for 30 years and you can't say one bad thing about. Uh, well, that's, that's John. And, and the reason is, we spoke at the dinner a couple of months ago about this. As a mayor, you get a chance to, to see a lot of people that care about their community and that are engaged, and many of you fall into that category here today. Um, but occasionally you run into someone that's such a good soul uh, that you just can't help but be attracted to to what they have to offer, and that's and that's John. And so when we talk about uh, honoring that, uh, it's something that we don't do enough. You know, we should really take time, like we're doing this morning, and we should do it more often, just to just to slow down as a community and thank those uh, who have made an enormous difference and who have given their heart and soul to their place, and who who have taken us in the right direction even when it wasn't the easy thing to do and and john you're you're, you're that guy man and and we just love you and we appreciate you and all you've done and can't wait to work with you on the next projects and whatever that looks like but we just want to say thank you and this is uh this is a place where where we can talk to uh, the next generation of folks in albuquerque uh, kids and grandkids about this place that we love and about the people that made it great and the people that are making it even better every day and you're going to be right at the front of that conversation so god bless you my friend we love you So before I start choking up, I'm going to have my friend uh, uh, <laughs> Councilor Benton come in here and uh, say a few words. Councilor Benton's been awesome to work with. It's the last eight years, and as I look back on the next two months in office, I think about the things that we've been able to accomplish together by putting our swords down and forgetting about who's in what party and who's this and who's that, and just kind of getting things done. And I've appreciated those partnerships and friendships. And he's taught me a lot too. He's taught me a lot about urban planning. He's taught me a lot about walkable cities and the things that we're doing with transit and all that. And so I appreciate the friendship and, and your leadership. Thanks so much, RJ. So. Thanks, RJ. And yeah, I, I, uh, I echo similar sentiments uh, often about RJ. He's really, uh, really stood up for a, a new urban quality in Albuquerque that, that we've kind of lost over the years, but, but we're working hard to bring it back. And um, I appreciate that. And I very much, along those same lines, appreciate John. Uh, you know, people say, oh, uh, Councilor Benton, he goes everywhere on his bike. I go, no, not like John Myers. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I was a little late. I was bumping up the tire, but but uh, but uh, but yeah. I mean, John Myers in so many capacities. You know, whether whether we're working on a small project or a, a mega project in the city of Albuquerque, 
question comes around so many times about who should we talk to about this on the legal front and the land use uh, uh, entitlement fronts and things like that, challenging redevelopment projects. His name would always come up. And uh, so I've been in, in the room around the table so many times solving problems with John. Uh, but more than anything, I just, uh, I see, uh, I've seen his activism over the years and working towards these same, uh, these same qualities we're talking about. Uh, making this a special place, uh, even more of a special place than it is. Um, I had some friends in town today for Balloon Fiesta and, you know, dra driving around, bragging on it, driving them up and down Central Avenue, Mayor, and, uh, and enjoying seeing people still at work out there and finishing it up and looking really good and looking really, looking very much forward to seeing uh, that in operation. But the, and then just all the little things. Uh, you know, the Elvato um, happening after waiting, you know, it's been 12 years for me of, of, of beating my head against various uh, walls to get that done, but it, it's great. We got it done under Mayor, Mayor Barry's leadership and that sort of thing I really appreciate. But John uh, is the guy to be honored today and uh, this cycle path being the pioneer, really, the pioneer uh, multi-use trail in Albuquerque and still our most beautiful one to have it named after John is really appropriate. So congratulations, John, and great to have your friend. So, so speaking of true believers, uh, Barbara Taylor is going to say a few words here. I want to send my gratitude to Barbara as well. Uh, to get some of these things done that we do, it's a tough and a long road, and sometimes you, you wonder why uh, common sense doesn't just step to the forefront and prevail, but sometimes it doesn't. And you have to make your case and you have to fight for what you think is right. And she has done that every step of the way. And we started talking about this with Dale and ULI about what we could do uh, for John. Um, it, it has expanded uh, in its scope because Barbara stepped forward and said, uh, we need to do more if we're going to do it for John. And so Barbara Taylor, our Parks and Rec Director. Well, I have to thank the mayor for giving me the opportunity to be the Parks and Rec Director. It has been the opportunity of a lifetime. I want to tell you that when Dale Decker and Jim Rogers came to me and said, we want to do something for John Meyer, and they started to tell me who John Meyer was, I said, whatever you need, I know John Meyers. <laughs> 23 years ago, when I came to work for the city of Albuquerque, I would go home, sorry, I'm kind of a nerd, I would go home and watch city council. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know you do that because you want to see the culture and the character of the organization that you've come to work for. And um, so I saw a lot of lawyers, and then I saw John Myers. And it was clear to me, who grew up with Jesuit-trained lawyers, <laughs> that John Myers was something more, that this was a man of um, great intelligence, um, a man whose ability deserved to be respected, um, a man of great character. And so I said, absolutely, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this right. And I know some other things about John Meyer. Being a public servant, I have to point out that he has been a great volunteer for the city. He has served on the Greater Albuquerque Bicycle Advisory Committee. He is currently on and has been the chair of the Metropolitan Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee, and in those capacities has been um, an incredible asset. And folks, it's hard. Um, advisory committees for the city of Albuquerque can be hard and time consuming. <laughs> and I know one other really great thing about John Myers. I know that he has a, a pristine 1966 <laughs> Camaro. <laughs> and the reason it's pristine is because his bicycle has more miles on it than his car. <laughs> So, Dale Decker. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. And, and you know, Barbara has and her team of uh, Parks and Rec folk have just done a fabulous job. And Robert, I don't know where Robert is, but Robert, 
He, Looks like John, he's hiding. Yeah, he's hiding back there, but he's one of those, uh, again, unsung heroes in our community that does great work day in and day out to make us a better community, a better place to live. And we just owe all of those people uh, a real debt of, we, we owe them gratitude for what they do for us. I'd also like to have the ULI members raise their hand that are out there, the Urban Land Institute. Banu, who is our executive director, has done just, uh, she loves this organization, she loves what we do, and she's contributed so much to our city and our quality of life. Steve Wadeen and his team was responsible for the event we put on and for a lot of the uh, goings on that you see today. But this is, as you'll notice up here, it says the first annual John Myers Award for Leadership in Urban Excellence. And it really was John that set the bar for the Urban Land Institute to put this award in place for our community where we hope to recognize those people who have contributed so much to making this a great city. And it's kind of, we're here because we're a family, we're here because we love our city, and we're here because of John Myers. And so John, thank you very much. And I, I want to also mention that we have a trail marker here, but we also have one at the Nature Center and one at uh, Alameda. So it's going to be marked up and down the trail for uh, for generations of the Mexicans. So we're looking forward to that. And I, now I'd like to invite John up if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, ULI. Thank you, all of you, for coming out here and being supportive of this, of ULI. It's a wonderful honor for me to be associated with the Bosque Trail. It's a gem of our community. I've I think for the last 35 years, I've either ridden my bike or run, we probably wouldn't call it running, jogging on the trail, and it's just a, a beautiful asset for our community, and I'm just so honored to have any association with it. I hope that over the last years, I've been an example of someone who can ride their bike for their transportation, for their exercise, and for their pure joy. And that's what it's been for me. So I've loved using this facility. And again, I really appreciate the city and ULI tying my name to it in some manner. Thank you very much. Are you going to unveil the marker? Yeah, okay. Are we done?